Okay, I have not tried it yet, but as I pushed it together, I could feel it go snug on there. And see, how I got the end of that ball, maybe about an inch uh, from where it hits that pipe. And I've got it up tight. I have not tried it yet. I don't like trying things before I show you. Okay, so let's, let's just try this out here. See, it's up tight now, right? I'm going to pull it out. I, I let go of it. Look at that. Pull it out. That gives me that gives me plenty. Psh, psh, psh. And then I, I wanna I wanna lift it a little bit and, and it goes right up into place. Why? Because I've got that situated right. It's not hitting the hot or cold water lines, the back of that, it's not hitting this. This pipe is allowed the uh, the water line is allowed to flow easily up and down. You see here, it's not hitting anything. It's not hitting the garbage disposal pipe. It's not hitting the drain pipe, not the water, hot, cold water line, not this line, not the wire for the garbage disposal, because I'll plug that back in. It's going, it's going nice, isn't it? See? Had I, had I put that lower down here where I was telling you, then every time you pull this up, you would hear it hit on that and then come down and sometimes it might stick on there and you might have to hold it and have it go clunk and if you have an old uh, sink faucet and it's hitting maybe you can redirect it somehow look at it and see and see if you can loosen that up and reposition that see I reposition that up high rather than down low and here here it is not nice and this is designed to slip either way, swivel around because it's on that little swivel head. And uh, there's a swivel on there. So see, you can turn this whole thing. I, I kind of like that too. Some of them didn't have that before. Now, remember, I got to tighten that up with my wrench. So one little, one little oomph and uh, I'll be fine with that. And then uh, I'm going to plug the garbage disposal back in and we're going to do it. We're going to run it for a test drive. What do you think? We're going to turn it back on and uh, see if we got any leaks. That's coming up. Now see, so far, have I shown you anything that you think you can't do? I don't think so, is my answer to you. I'm just average. I'm not a professional plumber. You don't have to be a professional plumber for this. You saw how I think it was easy to do this. And uh, you probably saved yourself 300 bucks, is my guess. 250, 300 dollars for a plumber. Uh, if, if a plumber, if somebody says, oh, hey, you, you could have got that done for 125 dollars, I think, I, think uh, I would have to respectfully disagree to you, with you. Uh, these times and ages now, everything seems to go up, 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 up. Plumbers, uh, professional installers for any kind of thing around your house, yeah, their their prices are up too, because all their prices are up. Okay, so um, uh, you know, remember I said that that aerator uh, fitting wasn't in here, and I I don't think they come with them anymore. That's that's kind of disheartening. Now, here they've got a label. Uh, you could put that label somewhere. Save that. I would save that. Uh, I would save this. I would take a picture of that in case in case uh, you want that for later on. You've got it in, on your phone or whatever. You could save the box, whatever. Okay, so my next step, I've got to tighten this. I can't forget that. That's, that's what I'm going to do now. And I don't have a problem showing you me tightening that up. Got my little trusty crescent wrench here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And I'm just gonna make it snug. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overdo it. Okay? There. That's it. Like I say, everything's plastic nowadays. You you just have to be careful with things. Okay? I'm going to leave it right like that, and then I'm going to check everything out. I'm going to run it through a test drive, and if it happens to leak, I can tighten it one little sixteenth 
Last thing I want is to try to over tighten that and screw up the threads or something. Now, if I screwed up the threads, uh, I put Teflon tape on there. I have to big a, put a gob of Teflon tape on there and that actual double twirls around there a little bit more than what I normally would do and then hold my mouth just right and hope and pray that it wouldn't leak or else I'd have to take the whole thing back. Why? Because I over tighten that one nut? Come on! You know, they don't make things like they used to, let me tell you. Okay, so now Am I, am I uh, pretty much done? I got to plug in the garbage disposal. And um, I look under there. I made sure those were tight. Oh, and after I turn the water back on, I'll look at those, those handles to see if I need to then unscrew the end. With I can do that with the water on. Just the, uh, just the, the end. You know what I mean? Just the end piece. Just the one little screw on the outside. And then wiggle that a little bit and then reposition that. That's right. I still have to do that. Okay. And uh, then I'll, I'll be pretty much done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this for right now. I think, I think my next step, uh, you just think about different things. Look at your project. Think, okay, is there anything else that needs to be done? I don't think there is. And let's go ahead and turn the water back on. So that's what I'm going to do next. Oh, and while I, while I do that, man, uh, what I used to do is um, if they had the little tool for the aerator, I would unscrew that. Ah, ah, nuts. I, I, could, I could still do it. No, I, I, I think I'll be fine. I'm going to take my chances, okay? Because... I was thinking I could unscrew that, turn the water back on, flush out the system. If there's anything in the water line, it'll come through here. It's going to get caught in here. If I take this out now, I would have to be real careful for this not to go ka-clunk, ka-clunk like that, and not be able to pull that little bit out of there without disconnecting the whole thing and um, fishing it back out. You see what I mean? So uh, as I turn the water on, let's just... Uh, Let's just, I'm, I'm going to leave that on like that. Um, I'll just show you, no monkey, no monkey business. No monkey business. Let's, uh, we'll just see here. This water should go on nice and fine. I'm going to turn the hot and cold water on now. I'm just going to turn the cold on for right now. Ah, come on. And that hand, that handle was even hard to get off, or to get on, just because it's 20 years old, it's plastic, I always got to kind of hold my mouth just right, and that's, that's full blast, look at that, that's full blast on the coal, I'm going to turn the hot water side on now. Having a heck of a time turning the turning those on. Okay. Now that that should be. Uh, I don't know if that's hot or cold. I'm th I'm 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 uh, I'm not sure right now. Oh oh, you know what it is? I think. I think you just have it like that, and it's probably cold, and if you want hot, you've got to turn it all the way down to like that, and then like that, and this can be wherever to turn it on and off, see? But, um, and there might not, there might not be any more water pressure than that. Uh, let's see here. Um, because the aerator might be uh, an aerator such as uh, only so many uh, gallons per minute or, 
or something and it ends throwing out lots of air and that's a good thing you don't need any more water than this you know plus it doesn't splash on you you can hold your hand there you can wash your dishes you can rinse off and it doesn't come any harder than that you don't need any harder than that right now i'm going to turn it up that way i think that's hot yeah that's hot okay Ooh. okay that's cold would it matter if I flipped them, I have no idea, probably. Yeah, it would. Okay. And then this. Oh, come on. What's the deal? This is supposed to come out. Ah, oh, good grief. I don't know why that's not coming out. Could something have caught in there? In the nozzle? Now I'm gonna have to now I'm gonna have to pull that apart. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pull this apart and then hold my mouth just right to make sure this doesn't go ka-clunk. Or else I have to undo the weight in there or put some masking tape around here or something. Isn't that odd? This should this should spray. How come it's not? Oh, there we go. Ah, scared me. I'm not going to pull it apart. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, brother. Um, the, the bottom. You have to push the bottom, and that's your sprayer, see? And, and then you just push that, and it's in the middle. And if you push the top, it goes off. I don't know why you want that. I mean, would you, would you ever need that? and push the bottom. Oh, that's nice. I'm liking that. Okay. I think we've done it by Joe. This pops in nice, see? We've got the weight adjusted right. We've got that tightened up. We've got everything done. This is lined up right. It almost looks like you know what you were doing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that run for a few minutes, okay? I'm gonna let it run, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take my my video camera, or my uh, I've got my light I got my light down here, and I'm gonna have to look at this and see if it's dripping. And son of a gun, I see there's a little bit of water there, and um, I'm gonna have to uh, shine my flashlight up there and see where it's coming from, and. Uh, See if I need to tighten, if I need to tighten anything up. All right, so that's my next step. Now you want to double check. You want to double check, okay? And make sure everything's running fine and there's no leaks. I thought, I, I well, I had seen some water down there. I wiped it up. And I'm still running, running the, the line and wiping. Uh, got my light under there, and I don't see I don't see any water now. That was weird. What would have caused that? Um, maybe as I was turning the gate valves on, uh, something dripped until I had it open all the way. I, I don't know, but um, I'm not. Last thing I'm going to do is start checking these valves. You don't want to be checking those under pressure and stuff. That wasn't part of this project. I wiped everything up. Everything's dry as a bone right now. And I'm going to let it run a little bit longer. Yes, I'm, unfortunately I'm wasting a little bit of water while I'm doing this. But I want to double check and make sure I don't see any drips. And then if I do, I'll have to go under there and see if it's dripping from the nut that's tightened up on the cold water side, on the hot water side. I'm seeing where the, where the valve is, that's fine, where the handle is. I don't have to reposition that. I don't really have to reposition that. I'll just tighten those screws. I made them snug before. Okay, they're almost snug, so I'll tighten those up. And uh, see what's going on here and hope that there's no leaks. Last thing you want is a leak. And like I say, if it was from the 
from the, the nut that you attach to the cold water side or the hot water side. If it's dripping from there, you'd have to take a wrench, hold your hand up there, get on your back, hold your wrench up there, and tighten it just a little, not very much. And then see if that stops, wipe the water up. Because like I said, you don't want to over tighten those. And then once you get it and you tighten it just a little bit more, you think, oh, okay, I think I got it. And then if it's not dripping, just leave it. Don't go any further. See what I mean? All right. I'm thinking that's going to do it. But I'm gonna, as I'm cleaning up, as I'm cleaning up, um, I'm going to let the water run a little bit longer. And and uh, make sure there's no water dripping and you know even if there is water dripping you look under there maybe it has nothing to do with what you touch maybe it has something to do and it was leaking somewhere else maybe it was leaking around the edge of one of your strainers and you looked up there and son of a gun the water was coming out dripping down here running down here dripping drip drip off of there you know one little drip every 15 seconds where it's dripping off of this where it's dripping at the bottom find out where it is and you know count yourself lucky that you found it last thing you want is for anything to start dripping and because if you got anything underneath here uh dry dry stuff or whatever you get water dripping on there you may not know it for months until you start smelling something and you have some rags down there you had something else down there She's, she's got most stuff in a little plastic bin containers or she's setting it there and it, and it should be fine. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna just hang out and keep checking that before I call it good. Okay? 